I'm Johnny Hunt and this is the Chord Melody Uke video series. Today we're going to learn how to play Bye Bye Blackbird, which uh, goes back about a hundred years I do believe, and it's just a good ukulele song. You can uh, s sing along and then if you want to throw in an instrumental break, uh, that's what we're going to do here is learn how to play that instrumental break. So um, I made an introductory video for this series and it's good to look at that if this whole thing is new to you. It just explains uh, the way I do things. Uh, the, the main thing that you need to understand is that my uke is tuned to low G. And the reason I do that is because I'm a guitar player. I've been doing that a lot longer than I've been playing the uke and a lot of these arrangements uh, I worked out on guitar a long time ago. And by tuning with a low G string, you get the same effect as taking a capo on your guitar and placing it at the fifth fret. And that gives you, instead of D, G, B, E, it gives you the uh, G, C, E, A tuning that uh, most dukes are tuned in. And it gives us four more notes down here on the, the bass end of things, because uh, there's some songs in this series that we're going to need those notes for. So that's why we do uh, low G tuning. So I'm going to go ahead and play Bye Bye Blackbird and then we'll take it apart bit by bit and show you how it's done and by the time uh, you've seen this video and rehearsed a few times you'll be able to play it as well I'm sure. So here's Bye Bye Blackbird, key of C. <laughs> So I played it through twice, you know, it's a short song and you just about would have to develop a bunch of improvisational breaks. Uh, playing the same break four or five times gets really monotonous to anybody that's listening and probably to you that's playing, you know, once you get past the rehearsal stage. So it's a good song to mix in a break with uh, the chorus and the verse. So we'll just go through it uh, slowly and I'll explain what I'm doing and here we go. So it's in the key of C and our first chord is C oddly enough. So in our, our melodies here are open on the third string, so we're just going to do a thumb, uh, pointer, middle finger pinch here. And then we're going to drop down to the second string at the third fret, third string first fret. Either way, you can go third fret or second fret uh, when you're dropping down. And here's another option. And, uh, put the second string at the second fret behind this um, third string at the first fret. So. And then we're going to G, except we're starting with the open third string. And we're actually using the two bass strings, second fret at the for the second string and fourth fret for the first string. And then, even though we're still playing this uh, second fret at the second string, we're back to our C chord. So, second and first fret. Actually, it's just two strings, but I'm fingering the whole chord. And two bass strings. A string's open, and 
then we're going to a D chord, just the bar. We don't have to worry about the seventh or open or anything because we're just using these two bass strings. And here's our, here's why we're uh, not using reentrant tuning. We need this note here, uh, first th string at the fourth fret over our G chord. Then we go to D minor, two two one. We're lifting off the uh, third string. And then third fret with our pinky on the third string. And then we go to A seventh or A uh, two one zero zero. And then back to D minor. Except our melody's down here on the second string now. And then we're going to D, D seventh, doesn't matter. And the melody is on the second string at the second fret, and then the melody goes to the third string open, and then back to the second fret, second string, and then back to our C chord. And then we're still on the C, and our melody's here at the third string on the third fret, so we can either just do zero, zero, three, or we can do five, four, three. So it's third, Third fret, third fret, third fret, first fret, open, second at the second fret, and then to A, second fret, first string, first set fret, second string, D minor, two, two, one. So it's all, all here with the, the two, two, one chord until it goes to open. Second fret, second string, second string open. And then our low pinky note here on the first string. Back to C. Second string back to third, first fret, third string open. Then to our G chord. Second string, second fret, third string, first fret, G with the melody on the low string at the fourth fret, and then we're just pinching here, and that's back to our C. Just walking up, open, second fret, fourth fret on the fourth string, second string open. connection to go from the C to the D. Third string uh, open, first, I'm sorry, second string open. First string fourth fret, second open, second at the first, and then we arrive where we want to be with our D chord. And second open, and then a G, D minor. second string at the second, back to our open C. Okay, we're going to slide up. That's an advantage of doing the 5-4-3 over the 0, zero 3 Just doesn't have the same oomph. First fret of the third string, A7th. Second, fourth fret, open third string open, second fret of the third string, D minor. Our low pinky note on the first string, third, all of the second string open, second, third fret, Uh, kind of a 
have a tagline ending, third string, third fret, fourth string open, back to the third string, and we're doing a flatted uh, third here, a second string, third fret, second string open in a pinch, and we can octave, and just uh, a variation there. If you're playing more than once, it's always good to throw in a few tricks just to keep it more interesting. So that's Bye Bye Blackbird. Uh, good luck tackling it. If you need some help, uh, please be feel free to send me a note. johnnyhunt at yahoo.com is my email. And I'm also on Facebook and uh, facebook.com slash johnny.hunt. So uh, enjoy learning Bye Bye Blackbird. <laughs>